Ever wondered how tall Hitler was? Or what if Napoleon Bonaparte wasn't that short? Or how much did Sir Isaac Newton scale in height? Or did you know that Mozart and Archimedes have the same height? This video is about famous people throughout history. These famous historical figures are chosen from a range of different cultures and countries. They include famous spiritual figures, politicians and writers, and many more who have helped to shape the human history. Well, let's start with Queen Victoria, the British Queen and Empress of India, who stood at 5 feet tall. And next up, we have a Polish-born physicist and chemist who was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize and the first person in history to win two Nobel Prizes in two different categories. Madame Curie was also 5 feet tall. Next, we have the king of the ancient Greek kingdom of Macedon who spent most of his ruling years on an unprecedented military campaign through Asia and Northeast Africa, in which by the age of 30, he had created one of the largest empires of the ancient world. Alexander the Great was 5 feet tall. She was the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic kingdom of Egypt. Cleopatra scaled at 5 feet 2 inches. Then we have the German composer and pianist Ludwig van Beethoven who was a crucial figure in the transition between the classical and romantic eras in classical music. His height was 5 feet 4 inches. Next we have the versatile Greek mathematician, physicist, engineer, inventor and astronomer Archimedes whose height was 5 feet 4 inches. Next up, we have the Austrian-born, prolific and influential composer of the classical era, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, who scaled up to 5 feet 4 inches. Then, we have King Charles I, who was a monarch over three kingdoms of England, Scotland and Ireland. He stood at the height of 5 feet 4 inches. And now we have the Indian activist who was the leader of the Indian independence movement against British colonial rule. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was known to be 5 feet 4.5 inches. Followed by the Russian revolutionary, politician and political theorist. Vladimir Lenin also stood at 5 feet 4.5 inches. The British statesman, orator and also an author who was a Prime Minister who rallied the British people during World War II and led his country from the brink of defeat to victory. Winston Churchill was about 5 feet 5 inches. Next up, we have one of the most important men in math and science history. He was the culminating figure of the scientific revolution of the 17th century. The father of calculus and gravity, Sir Isaac Newton, was 5 feet 6 inches tall. Then we have the English poet, playwright and actor, widely regarded as the greatest writer in English language and the world's greatest dramatist. William Shakespeare also stood as tall as 5 feet 6 inches. Napoleon Bonaparte, a French statesman and military leader who rose to the prominence during the French Revolution. The misconception that he was short stems mainly from the disparities between old French measuring system and those of modern day. According to recent studies, he was 5 feet 6 inches. Following up, we have the Dutch post-impressionist painter who just over a decade created about 2100 artworks, including around 860 oil paintings. Vincent van Gogh stood at 5 feet 7 inches. At 5 feet 7 inches, we also have the Roman politician, military general and historian who played a critical role in the events that led to the demise of the Roman Republic and the rise of the Roman Empire, Julius Caesar. Then we have the American author, political activist and also a lecturer who was the first deaf-blind person to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree, Helen Keller. Followed by the Swedish businessman, a chemist, engineer, inventor who is famously known for inventing the dynamite and other explosives. He is the Swedish-born Alfred Nobel. Next, we have the Hong Kong American actor, director, martial artist and instructor and philosopher Bruce Lee. 
Then we have the Scottish-born scientist, inventor, engineer and innovator who is credited with inventing and patenting the first practical telephone. He is the founder of the American Telephone and Telegraph Company. Alexander Graham Bell was 5 feet 8 inches. Additionally, we have the Argentine Marxist revolutionary, author, guerrilla leader, diplomat and military theorist and also a major figure of the Cuban Revolution. Che Guevara was 5 feet 9 inches. At 5 feet 9 inches, we also have German politician and leader of the Nazi party, Adolf Hitler, the legendary king of pop, Michael Jackson, followed by the father of observational astronomy, the father of modern physics, and the father of scientific method, Galileo Galilei. Adding on, we have the leading author, printer, politician, scientist, inventor, statesman, and diplomat, Benjamin Franklin. We also have the great German-born theoretical physicist who developed the theory of relativity, one of the two pillars of modern physics, Albert Einstein. Then we have the Scottish inventor, mechanical engineer and chemist who invented the steam engine, James Watt. Next we have the Italian merchant, explorer and writer born in the Republic of Venice, Marco Polo also stood at 5 feet 9 inches. Followed by the Italian explorer, navigator and colonist who completed four voyages across the Atlantic Ocean and most importantly, the one who discovered America. Christopher Columbus was 5 feet 10 inches. Next we have the flamboyant legendary lead singer of the band Queen, Freddie Mercury who also scaled at 5 feet 10 inches. Moving on, we have the American captain of industry and a business magnet, the founder of Ford Motor Company. Henry Ford was 5 feet 10 inches. Also at 5 feet 10 inches, we have the American entrepreneur, animator, voice actor and film producer who is the pioneer of the American animation industry, Walt Disney. Followed by American inventor and businessman who invented the phonograph, the light bulb and motion pictures and also many more, Thomas Edison. And then we have the American statesman, politician, conservationist, naturalist and writer who served as the 26th President of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt. Lastly, at 5 feet 10 inches, we also have the English singer, songwriter and peace activist who co-founded The Beatles, John Lennon. At 5 feet 11 inches, we have English naturalist, geologist and biologist best known for his contributions to the science of evolution, Charles Darwin. Followed by the American astronaut and aeronautical engineer who was the first person to walk on the moon, Neil Armstrong. And also the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. Moving on, we have a monk, a medicant, a sage, a philosopher, a teacher and a religious leader on whose teachings Buddhism was founded. Gautam Buddha was six feet tall. Next, we have the anti-apartheid revolutionary, a political leader and a philanthropist who served as the president of South Africa. Nelson Mandela was six feet one inches. Followed by the most underrated man in the history of science who is a Serbian-American inventor, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer and futurist who is best known for his contributions to the design of the modern alternating current. Nikola Tesla stood at 6 feet 2 inches. Then we have the American political leader, a military general, a statesman and the founding father who also served as the first president of the United States. George Washington was known to be 6 feet 3 inches tall. And now we have the American statesman, politician and lawyer who served as the 16th President of the United States. Abraham Lincoln was as tall as 6 feet 4 inches. Followed by the Italian polymath of the Renaissance whose areas of interest included invention, 
drawing, painting, sculpting, architecture, science, music, and many more. The multi-gifted Leonardo da Vinci was also 6 feet 4 inches. Lastly, known for introducing political and social reforms that helped Russia become an international power player while stripping away some of the cultural and religious traditions that set Russia apart from the rest of Europe. Peter the Great was historically known for being tall as 6 feet 8 inches.